always floating these triplets. They're floating kinds of, of figures, aren't they, all through the piece. It's floating the left hand all the time, whether it's louder or softer, it's still floating, right? Softest. Yes. Float this, float this, look very light. You gotta lighten it on that second half of the measure. You have to lighten it. Because of because of this. Like I said. Yeah. So that coincides with the what the resolution of the second or the suspension into the dominant harmony, right? Float. Under float, climax, good. Dip down, down, go across, big. Float the left hand even if it's big, float it. sharp because you have the principal first D sharp, right? Yes. The next one just floating through the first D sharp, in my opinion. Okay, mm -hmm. okay go what back to the left hand. The left hand sounds Well you so gotta shape it. Show me how you're gonna shape it. Yeah, you gotta be careful that it doesn't get pedantic <laughs> sounding. Yeah. Think in two okay here's the thing that I think would help. Think of the measure in two beats. Remember we talked about that? Like when we do the beginning One, two. The same thing here when you're going D, two. Yeah, float, float, float. That's a big surprise, right? Going from all this minor stuff, minor, 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 to parallel heavenly major. Now he ends this piece in E major. The thing is, I wasn't sure what your prince, where you were heading in your destination notes. Um, um, go back to the D sharp and measure 43. Let's hear that again and shake the left hand again. But more importantly is ta right? And that has a dissonance on it because this has to go where? Into this. That's consonant. And then surprise major. Least now. Good. Now this is just a muted part, isn't it? Thank you. 
up there on that. Because here's your leading tone. Resolve. Resolve to resolve it down. Right, resolve it down. We don't want to hear like a pop. Because that is slurred over, the, the dominant seven is slurred over to the E tonic, right? Mm -hmm. It's suddenly a dotted half note and can't go in so fast on it. In terms of the, the color and the eurythmics of that note, you come a little bit under and swell it up. Coming under with your wrist, I would. You like the cello bowing that, you know, the vibrato. Mysteriously. So you want to go a little underneath and soft because you're rolling under and then over, right? Good. Be careful of, that can be da or because it's a scale down now, right? It's a scale, you could say. It's like it's almost falling down, you're very sad. It's a very sad kind of fall down, isn't it? Sigh down. Good. Okay, try again. because that's the alto voice, you have to still hear the decaying C sharp on top, so it means the A sharp has to be really very soft. Okay. See what I'm saying? Like, ta, ta. So I go a little deeper into the what? Into, into the, the C sharp, and then I try to really lighten with my arm weight on the, the, a, okay. on the a sharp. Okay. Because that's the resolution. Resolution means less, right? So this is suspension, right? The second is a suspension, yeah. and then it's going very... See, I'm still hearing that. It's a terribly hard thing to pull off, I know. A dominant there. Pretty good. Okay, resolve it. Good. Now down, down. Good. That's right, horizontal, horizontal.
major. E though, right? Because it's alto. 